Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're taking a look at LED strip lights. Specifically, how to cut them down to the lengths that you need, but then reconnect them so that they're still hooked up to one power source. So yes, we're actually gonna be cutting LED strip lights and we're gonna look at how you can reconnect them and then give some consideration to other power thoughts. But we're gonna start by doing it the right way, which begins with making sure it's unplugged. One thing that I really do love about working with LED strip lights or ribbon lights is that they do have all of these very clearly marked, easy to identify places where you can cut them and then reconnect them. Yeah, they actually have the reconnecting tabs built right into the line where you cut them from. So just to make the absurd point as to how much you can hack these things apart and then reconnect them and still make them work, I'm going to be cutting this ribbon strip into 15 different pieces and then reconnect all of them. There are plenty of reasons why you might want to do this, one of which is you might have to actually pass wiring through a set of cabinets, but you don't want to be running the lights inside the cabinet. Or maybe you just need to make a sharp turn or run some parallel strips of lights. So whatever your reason, it's just really nice to know that you can accomplish it without actually having to add another source of power. And whether your skill is beginner or a little bit more advanced, there are different ways that you can just grab some wires to make these connections stick. So let's get to it. For today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all of the adhesive backing and put all of these strips down in parallel rows, but the other way you could go about this is using these easy clip connectors, which all you have to do is slide them onto the ends and then plug in your wires. It's really that easy. The key with those is though, you need to get the easy connects on before you actually stick the strips onto your final surface. So instead of paying to have the quick connects, to rejoin 15 separate strips, I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare the strips so that I can connect the wires right onto their surface. I found the easiest way for me is to put the soldering iron and the solder together at the same moment right as I touch the copper strip and then just slowly pull it away and it leaves a nice clean line. Well, most of the time it leaves a nice clean line, but the cleanup is pretty easy too. Once you've got your LED strips prepared, it's time to prepare some wires. And you could use individual wires to make all your connections, but there's a much easier way. I picked up 22 gauge wire that came with the right color coordination for the RBG connections that I'm gonna be making. That's because my LED strips have multiple colors, which means they need the four contact points. If you just have straight white lights, you probably only have two contact points that need to be made. If you're not able to find the wire that you need at the same place that you bought your lights, then you can simply go to your favorite retailer online and type in a search for LED strip wire. That's how I found mine. Since I already put solder on the LED strips, I really don't need to put that much solder on the wires. They're gonna actually be able to connect themselves quite easily with just a little bit of heat. You can try to hold the wire still with your hands or just take the easy way out and grab a little screwdriver and use that to carefully hold the right wire to the right spot so that you can apply just a little bit of heat and keep it stuck. It really works easy and well. For those of you paying a little extra close attention, you may notice the numbers that I put on these strips and that was for a purpose. I wrote those numbers at the end of each section as I was making my cuts. That way you can see that as I have them laid out here, I do not have them running in the exact same flow that they were when they were cut apart. 
and that's okay, it's still gonna work just fine. So there you have it. I hacked this thing apart, cut it into 15 different sections, laid them back down in all kinds of different directions, and then just reconnected them all with a lot of heat and solder, and everything works great. In fact, I highly recommend doing a project like this if you're not too comfortable with your soldering technique, because it really is a great way to get some good practice and perfect your soldering for working on LED strips. Believe me, you'll get better really fast. Here's another important thought. What if your access to power doesn't allow you to connect end to end on your LED strips? Well, simply connect them straight from the middle and let them run off into different directions. This is great when you're working in under cabinet or through cabinet kind of projects too. This same approach of splitting from the middle can also help you out when you're concerned about dimming at the end of your individual sets of LED strips. The key here though is to just always make sure to match up the total power from your source to the power requirements of your LEDs. Hey, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my video. If you liked it or got a little something out of it, I hope you let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. And please do make sure to subscribe while you're here and ring the bell to get notifications for future videos. And feel free to check out my playlists for other videos you might be interested in. But as always, please make sure to come on back because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.